morning is Psalm 80. Eternal listener, give heed to your people, you who are our guide and our light. You who dwell amidst the angels, shine forth into the heart of all nations. Enliven your people with compassion, that peace and justice might flourish. Restore us, O Holy One. Let your face shine upon us. Teach us to love. Gentle teacher, help us to turn to you in prayer, fasting from our negative thoughts. In your steadfast love, you weep with our tears, tears that rise from fear and doubt and illusion. You uphold us when we feel the sting of pride, when our anxiety threatens to paralyze us. Restore us, O Holy One. Let your face shine upon us. Teach us to love. You companion us through the wilderness, through the shadows created by fear. You plant your seed into each heart. You uproot the weeds of our sin. You cultivate the soil of our goodness. Truly in you, we become like a tiny acorn, holding the secrets of a mighty oak. You nourish us with the food of love, with streams of living water. Be our strength as we break down walls that separate and divide. Let not fear pluck away the gifts that we would share. Roll away the stones that become obstacles to growth, to producing a bountiful harvest. Restore us, O Holy One. Let your face shine upon us. Teach us to love. The epistle reading is Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. So then let's also run the race that is laid out in front of us, since we have such a great cloud of witnesses surrounding us. Let's throw off any extra baggage. Get rid of the sin that trips us up and fix our eyes on Jesus, faith's pioneer and perfecter. Jesus endured the cross, ignoring the shame for the sake of the joy that was laid out in front of him and sat down at the right side of God's throne. 